Hi and welcome to my podcast, number five I think. Um, I'll be talking mostly about knitting, natural dyeing, um, eco printing, spinning, anything in the fibre world. Um, you can find me on Facebook as Hawthorne Grove. Also, I have a little store on Etsy as Hawthorne Grove. I'm on Instagram as Hawthorne Grove 71. And I will tell you a little bit about what we have been doing this week. Um, firstly, my daughter and I, well, and my husband collected some gorse bush from a friend's property. I think I told you a little bit about it in one of the previous videos. And we've been dyeing some yarn. So this first one, I used the gorse, um, some dandelion, and a little bit of leftover cochineal that I had from a previous dye bath. So we've got these glorious golden and olive and beige tones. So this one is on um, Wool of the Andes bulky weight wool from Knit Picks. So that one came out beautiful variegations. So we did four, four lots of that one. Um, a couple of days later I picked some more of the gorse flowers and used it for just some yarn I got from Spotlight which I haven't got the label to right at this moment. Um, but it was just a, a natural base yarn at Spotlight, pure wool. Check out the glorious yellow. A couple turned out a little bit brighter than the others, and they are a lot brighter than it's showing up here. I tried to film this on my computer, but they just came up cream. There was no yellow tone whatsoever. So I've got eight balls of this 100 gram bright 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 yellow and I love it don't know what I'm going to use it for yet but I'm sure I will figure that out so that's what we've been doing with dyeing I've got an exciting parcel in in the mail yesterday which I'm going to be using for eco printing so these are sock blanks now I've seen Ninja Chickens, she's, she's another YouTube podcaster, she has a great podcast, and she eco-prints sock yarns, but um, to buy them from her it costs quite a, quite a penny for shipping because she's in, in the USA, and I love her sock blanks. Um, but these ones I found in Tasmania, in my little home state, hand dyed in Tasmania by Daffodil... Oh, the writing's a bit small. Daffodil. Daffodil something. Artisan yarns. Now, I really should have read that first. <laughs> anyway, I'll put links down below. So, I'm excited to do some eco printing on them. So, that'll be one of our next um, little little projects and also I found these on Etsy and they're from Bond Sheep Yarns and they're little carved sheep and you knit them a jumper aren't they super cute so you can get a bigger one and a smaller one and they come with the pattern to knit their jumpers and then you can buy extra sheep to add to the flock so I'm really excited to get started on those so they are the Bombed Yarns Sheep Jumper Pattern, designed for Bombed Yarns 2019, and I think they are super cute. Um, now, on, on the weekend I do a little market in Ulverston, and um, there's a lady there who creates little pictures from... Um, sea glass and flat stones that she finds along the beach at Penguin I think um, and I asked have you ever done sheep and she said oh I can have a think about it well on Saturday she brought these along 
Aren't they just brilliant? I said, okay, sold. <laughs> and I took them home and added them to my little collection of sheepy things that I've got sitting on my wood heater, which we're not using at the moment because we're coming into, into some better weather, thankfully. So they were fantastic. And I'll add a link to her Facebook page down below. And what else have we been doing? I've been doing a little bit of my No Fear socks. I know it's October and we're meant to be knitting socks, but I've been a little bit distracted by everything else. Anyway, we've got... I think this is the back of the foot. So this is where the heel will add on to here. Isn't it really cute? And this is just the... the um, Not just socks yarn from Spotlight. And it knits up all... Fair Isle style. So we're getting a little way. I've made a couple of little boo-boos. But I guess that's to be expected from your first um, pair of socks. And they the pattern is by Earth Tones Girl. And she walks you through the whole thing on YouTube. On Monday, I went to a class at the Yarn Inn in La Trobe. And we were doing beanies and I bought this beautiful yarn. It's from Bendigo Woolen Mills. So it's all variegated greens and pinks and purple and blue and yellow. And we were knitting little beanies in the round. So we're this far. So getting close to doing the, um, oh, what do you call it? The, the decreasing for the top I'm making this for my 11 year old daughter and I'm just going to use do the like just the short no fold up style with a pom pom for her because she's I think that'd be quite cute and this is knitting up beautifully it's nice and soft and thick and and yummy and it'll be great for winter nice and warm and I'm knitting this on um, Chigu circular needles and they're the ones that have the ergonomic shape. So that'll be lots of fun. And I'm almost finished already. So two days, nearly got a beanie. She's excited. Now before I go also, I received my crate from Knit Crate. Um, I haven't got much time to talk about this, but I might do a, another video next time I get another crate. And it's a subscription where you get um, some yarn patterns and things every month. Now this month I got these two amazingly bright green skeins of yarn from Ordine Wools Sleek by Knit Crate. Um, and they are... 55% merino wool, 30 baby alpaca, 15 mulberry silk. It's 220 yards, 100 gram. So they are super, super, super bright. You also got a little, a little notion, so a little, um, little stitch marker with the sun, and you get a little booklet with um, some patterns. So for crochet and for knitting so we've got some little glove style things we've got a scarf and gloves you can also get a sock box which this is just the original box and in the sock box you get yarn and patterns to make some beautiful little socks um, I can't remember exactly what it costs for Australian because it's an American company, but you get about double the value of yarn and patterns for your money, and I'm pretty sure the postage is free. So if you want to check that out, go to Knit Crate. I know that's backwards. Um, 
I will leave it for there because I'm filming on my phone and I've got about 20 seconds left. So I will talk to you all a bit later. And don't forget to like, subscribe or please comment on my video. It's, it's nice to have a chat with you all. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.